Jimmy, scoop up the stuff. We mustn't leave any trace of it here. We've got to get on board the Venturer. If the police take him away, there's no hope of getting the two pieces back together. And knowing the narrow-mindedness of most human beings, they never believe our mission anyway. Stephen to Robo. Robo reporting. Robo, we urgently need to be transported up. It's Jimmy and I, plus one other corpse. Master, I've been unable to complete repairs of the transporter. Can only transport one at a time. Oh yes, I've forgotten about the faulty transporter. Okay, Robo, you're going to have to beam us up one at a time. Start with Jimmy, then the corpse, and then myself. Do you two think you can hold off the police for a bit for us? Sure, but what's going on? I haven't got time to explain that now. But I can tell you that your friend Katie is safe and well. I'm probably on the way home by now. Cheers. Let's go, Danny. Well, that's some of the Melignite aboard. I just hope the transporter can hold out. It seems to be working rather sluggishly. I still can't believe he tried to stop us from pairing up the other segment by eating it. The other segment! Oh, I've been so stupid as it misses things! Robo, don't beam me up until I tell you to, okay? I've got to get the other segment. Hello, love. Uh, hi, Nan. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm in, a, I'm in a bit of a rush. Well, John was around earlier. Yes, I know. Well, he brought round the... The Melignite. Yeah, I know that too. Where is it? Being examined closely at the moment. What? By who? I told John to hide it. It's an interesting specimen, apparently. Nan, unless I get that rock aboard the Venturer in less than half an hour, we are all going to blow up. What imbecile has taken it into their head to make an examination of it? Me, actually. Lizzie! Melignite, yeah? Oh, uh, that stuff always affects him like that. <laughs> Robo. Master? I've got the Melignite. Can you beam me up with it, please? Make that too, Robo. Mistress Lizzie. <sighs> Two to be my Robo. <sighs> Bye, Nan. Oh. Rush you off again, hey? Certainly am. Take care. Not even staying for a cuppa. I'll explain to him why I'm back. Look, I promise we'll be back soon, Nan. Oh, I've heard that one before. Oh, it's so good to be back. And Robo, I've forgotten how much I'd missed you. And looking so smart as well. Oh, quite please, Lizzie. I need to think. Robo, the transporter must be fixed. That was very uncomfortable. Affirmative, Master, that this sudden and constant use has set back my repairs. Surely now we've got the segments together. Everything will be alright. That's what I'd hoped for. But that idiot act of self-sacrifice has put us all in jeopardy. You mean it could still blow up? They will blow up. How long have we got? Eight minutes, maybe less. Robo, get ready to beam the pieces into space. And the corpse. You can't beam him into space! No matter what he's done, you can't do Lizzie, that! Lizzie, I have no choice! But it's inhuman! Well, it's either that or we all die. And the conditions will probably seriously affect Earth as well. I'm sorry. Robo. Set the coordinates for deep into space. And beam away. Transporting now. Oh, come on, Robo, we've just got over five minutes left. <laughs> What's happening now? Transporter has overloaded. Robo, this is desperate. We've got to get this stuff off the ship. I will attempt auxiliary power.
transportation was successful, Master. I take it the Melig Knight will explode safely then, Robo? Affirmative, Master. I will now make repairs to the transporter at priority. Thank you, Robo. <sighs> Talk about falling into the middle of an adventure. I seem to have the knack of it down now. I see you've made some alterations around here. To the crew as well. Oh yes, of course, you've been probably introduced, have you? Lizzie, this is Jimmy. My name's Elizabeth Brown, but you can call me Lizzie. I'm James Bennett, but you can call me Jimmy. You're finding quite an interesting subject, Lizzie. He's from the past. My past or your past? Well, all of our yesterdays. I picked him up from the Second World War around 1944. I rescued him, in fact. Fascinating. You poor thing, so far away from your family and in a different time and place. Oh, I love travelling. It's amazing. Yes, Lizzie always loved travelling. Well, then she discovered that she loved Mike Jones more. Do I detect a little hint of jealousy there, brother dear? Actually, uh, it's all over between Mike and me. Um, it didn't work out. So, would Miss Brown like to come back on board the Venturer at all? Well, if you'll have me, nothing would make me happy. Welcome aboard, Miss Brown. Oh, God, he's faced by a wizard! No, Jimmy, it's probably just turbulence. I'm sure of it. If this is another asteroid storm, I'm out of here. Master, nearby ship is on a collision course with us. Uh, change course, Robo. Employ all of our thrusters. Affirmative. Master, the ship is familiar to me. Report, Robo. The ship is of Terrakin design. Terrakins? Straight from one adventure to another, eh, Lizzie? I sure hope you don't regret your decision to join us. 